Hi everybody, it is Sunday and it's 7 p.m. So that means it's time for Mary's Craft Room Sundays at 7. I hope you are all great and had a wonderful weekend. Um, I sure did. I had my last craft fair at Emmanuel Ch Lutheran Church in Watertown and it was phenomenal. The ladies are wonderful, the customers were wonderful. It was a great end to my craft, craft fair season. I do mine all, you guys, in like two weeks time. I have three craft fairs. I start on a Sunday before Thanksgiving, Saturday after Thanksgiving, and the next Saturday, and I'm done. So I'm usually pretty exhausted, so I took a pretty good nap today in between um, organizing some stuff and cleaning. So with that in mind, though, tonight, let's get going. So it's no card tonight, Need to needed to be easy for me. So we're going to do a sneak peek preview of what's inside these two catalogs, which, of course, I can't show you the inside of the catalog just yet, um, but they are on their way. Um, if you were on my mailing list, your catalogs, I... I ordered them for you and your catalog should be on their way. I don't know exactly when you'll get them, but coming soon. And then this is all orderable from January 5th, okay? Celebration is January through February. Mini catalog is January through April this year. Um, so they're trying to fit more stuff in, so it's a shorter selling period for the mini catalog. So first of all, I love the outside because it's purple. It is so cool. And there's lots of neat stuff on the inside. And this kind of coordinates it with it because it's got a little purple in there too. So let's get started. I bought several of the sweets where you know you can buy um, a whole set. Everything comes together. And the first one is called Two-Tone Flora. All right. And it is, um, or excuse me, the sweet is called Fancy Flora. I gotta get mine open on the side here so I can talk to you about everything. Fancy Flora, and it comes with two stamp sets and dies. All right, two stamp sets and dies, some bling. These are um, iridescent pastel gems, and very pretty. They they remind me of the gold um, gems that we had in the past that were faceted, but extremely pretty. And then we have. Um, Pool Party, I believe it's Pool Party Ribbon, Gross Grain Ribbon, very pretty too, so that'll coordinate with it. We have got, I'll open the dies in a minute. It comes with a pack of 6x6 six six fancy floral paper, and in there the colors are Balmy Blue, Basic Gray, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Night of Navy, Orchid Oasis, Pool Party, sea foam, soft suede, and soft succulent. We have a lot going on in there. So let's check out the patterns. I have not seen them yet, only in the catalog. So let's open it up for you and see what we have. Okay, and there are 48 sheets in here. And again, it's six by six. So I'm gonna open this up. So we have this pretty pattern here. Looks like a, a painting. And then on the back side, it's got all, it also looks like textured painting of the, the greens, the soft succulent and the evening evergreen mixed together. Then we have this one. It's really cool patterns, you guys. It's got a lot of texture and movement in it. So this has got a lot of the colors in there that I just read off. And then on the other side, it's more of the coral color. Then we've got some with the soft succulent, in, or I'm sorry, the soft suede in it. That is really cool. Put that with the soft succulent or the evening evergreen, soft suede as a base, any of those. Gray, really pretty. And the back side coordinates with a little bit more of the soft suede. Ooh, I like this one because it's purple. So again, it's got a different mixture of colors. I like all the colors they put together. And then the purples and pinks on the back. Next, we have this one that's got a lot of the colors in. And then the blues and the greens on the back. Some of the green shades. And more than the yellow on the back. This is really cool paper, you guys. I really, really like it. Oh, look at that outside. Very nice. 
And it's always, you know, something I love about their papers. If I don't like one side, chances are good I like the other side. That's really pretty. It looks like flowers. But again, it's um, the, it almost looks like the thick kind of painting where they take a paintbrush and glob a lot of thick paint on. So there's texture to it. And then we've got some blue, green, pool party, and yellow on the back side. Oh, this is very pretty too. The coral and the purple and pink. Oh, that side's pretty too. Oh my goodness. That'll be hard to pick. But if you're noticing the paper beneath it, look at that. Woo. That's cool. All right. There's another color combo. And more of the pink on the back. And then two more to go. So we've got this one. I like that too. And you see that green that I've got going on down there? Oh, nice. And then we've got this one. Did I lift? Did I show you one twice? Maybe. And then we've got this one here. And they might have them in twice. We'll see. Okay, so that's the six by six paper. Very, very pretty. Like that a lot. Hi, Mary. How are you? Mary is. I've seen Mary. She's got a friend who's a crafter who's been in the same craft fairs I've been in. And Mary and I have seen each other each weekend now at the craft fairs. They're both very good craft fairs. They're keepers, that's for sure. Okay, next in this suite is fine shimmery paper. Now this, you're going to get six single sheets, two sheets each of soft succulent, fresh freesia, and gold. And this is 12 by 12 paper. So let's open that up. Oh my gosh. Very pretty pretty very pretty oh and it's thick it's not the sheer stuff it is thick cardstock this will be great I love making little purses out of the retired die but I make little purses and people go nuts over them and this will be great I call them my designer handbags <laughs> sometimes I use the um, the old animal print uh, embossing folder look at that gold fresh freesia and the soft succulent are those pretty and then to go with some of these papers in here oh my goodness i won't know where to start so pretty okay so that's the paper for the set yeah and sometimes it's hard to get back in here so i might have to just set it aside for now yep i'll just set it aside all right and then the two bundles that go with it Two-tone floral and two-tone floral dies. What I like now is they've changed their naming the dies to match the stamp set, which is so nice. Because otherwise, like I put mine together right away, but some people don't, and then you don't know what dies went with what stamp set because they were always named something just a little bit different. So you here you have this is a two-step stamp. So you, and it shows you the pieces that go together. They're always right next to each other, like that. This will probably fit on here with the leaves somewhere. These will go on there. And it is a polymer, which I actually like. I like these better because because I can see where I'm stamping. And then the dies that come with it is one very large overall die, which could be really cool in the glimmer paper in the background. Oh, my goodness. And then you get all of the individual pieces for... Um, the leaves, and the different size flowers. So you get a lot of dies in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dies along with that stamp set if you do the bundle. And bundle, of course, always saves you 10%. So that's one. And then the next one that goes with it is called Something Fancy. And now for that, guys, it's neat because it's got all of these phrases on it. I love the font on it. You've got some straightforward um, block lettering and then you've got some cursive lettering, which is really pretty. And that, now this one is a rubber one, okay? So that's that. And then the dies that go with it are what I really like. And they are the Something Fancy dies, 
and they're all labels. So cool. So it doesn't have to match this one. You can use it on maybe another card too, but all of these labels that go on there. And these will cut out little flowers or things like, or leaves that can go on the top of the label. So very nice. Love it. I think I'm going to use this one a lot. So these are different sizes. This isn't all one. There's one, two, three there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Super good. Good deal. Love it a lot. All right. So that one, you guys, is called the Fancy Flora Suite. Now, I buy the whole thing. Doesn't mean you have to. Um, but you can buy the, bit, uh, the bits and pieces or you can buy the whole thing. All right, on to the next one. And I have to tell you, so I got to see this at um, back, or on stage, and there's times when I look at the catalog and I go, eh, I don't know. And then I see things that are demonstrated, and I fall in love with them. And that's kind of what I did with this next one. So the next one is called the By the Bay. And let's see what they call the suite. Yep, everything's called By the Bay, and the stamp set is sweet, or Seaside. So I'm not really into this, but I liked, I liked the sentiments and the font, and then I saw samples done, and I really fell in love with it. So it comes with, this is balmy blue and white ombre ribbon. Very pretty. Um, this particular one is... Um, Let's see how wide is it. That's a half inch wide ribbon. Where the other one we had was a little less. Like three or half inch, this three eighths that probably is. So this one's a half inch. Comes with these beautiful pearls. Different gems. They're they're oblong kind of. They're different shaped. And when you see them in person, they're just they look like mother of pearl. And they're called flat adhesive backed pearls, but they look like mother of pearl. Really, really pretty. And the stamp set is called Seaside Bay. So you've got three sentiments and lots of other pieces that you can stamp. What I really can see this for is shadow boxes galore. And that is the rubber one also. Or cling as they call it. And then the stamps or the dies that go with this one. Come on, look at all of the dies that you get with it. So you can make an edge, you know, the edge on the bottom of your sea or the sand. Um, you have got this that you can make a clamshell with. So you close it and it's got indentations here. So you close it and then you open it up and you can have your pearl inside. Very cool. You've got your crab, you've got some grass, you've got little birds here, little sandpipers there. Um, some shells, some more grass, a lot of things that you can do with this one. So after I saw people working with it and I saw samples, I really did fall in love with it. And, and the thing that will really coordinate everything together is the paper. What I really like with Stampin' Up! is the paper they make can do a lot of the work for you. Or it gives you inspiration. Okay, so let's see what we've got for this one. And then this one, the colors are Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Mint Macron, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, Pool Party, and Sahara Sand. All colors that are kind of sea, kind of. This has got some iridescent on it. If you can see that sparkling, see that? Super pretty. Okay, so we've got the blues and greens on this side. And then we've got all kinds of coordinating seashells on the back side. Oh, this is really cool. The clam shells or seashells on that side, the colors and more iridescent on there. Really neat. And then the calmer blues and greens on the back side. Then we've got gold. And then on the back side is blue. This one's very, it reminds, reminds me of the, some artistic paper they had um, a couple years ago. The gold swirled back in there. And then the crabs on the other side. 
Oops, my phone, my wrist watch is talking to me. It thinks I was talking to it. Sorry. <laughs> this is very cool. Look at the gold fish going around. That is really, really cool. I don't know how I would use it because I'd be afraid to lose some of it, but I'll figure something out. And then the blue and green striped on the back. That is really neat. I keep going up too high. Sorry about that. Then we've got some of the all of the the um, creatures in there. And then the gold is shiny that swirls through. And then the back side looks like barn board. Kind of looks like my tabletop I've got here. Oh, this is cool too. It's got iridescent lines going through it. I think we're going to see, oh, look at that. I think we are going to see a lot of neat cards with this. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. So this is all shiny. Really cool. You can see the wave in there. And then this on the other side. The colors are gorgeous. And then that same pattern they had before in gold, only it's in blue. And then on the back side is that. Oh, isn't that pretty? And what was the other fish that we had going on there? Oh, look. So this one had green, where this one has more of a sand color. And then on the back side of that one is the sandpiper and the crab. I love the colors that they use. Very pretty. And then we've got that same abstract pattern, only different colors. Super pretty. And then the same thing on the back, just different colors. And now this one again in the crumb cake color. And on the back side is this one. Ah, man, I wish this one was in 12 by 12. This is so cool. Gorgeous paper. The paper alone sells it. So we'll get that slid back in there. Okay, so that is by the bay. Very nice. I hope you're liking some of this stuff so far. Next is definitely one I did not think I would like until I saw samples. Oh, gosh, those ladies, they're so creative. So, so creative. This one, you guys, is called Delicate Desert. Find the right page over here for me. Delicate Desert. Not typically my style, but the colors and the things that you can do with it, just gorgeous. So we've got another ribbon that is um, a half inch ribbon. It is called, it's pale papaya and it's a faux velvet. So it's a little bit, you know, fuzzier <laughs> ribbon. So that will be very pretty as a base on, on something going straight across. Probably not tying a knot or something or a bow but definitely to add as an accent to the card. We have got um, the bling that goes with this one is called Gold Faceted, Gold Faceted Adhesive Sequins. And they are, so if you look at them, they've got a little indent in them, and they are sequins, and they'll be really cool on the cards. They really complement the paper. Desert Details. Here is the stamp set. Nice Nice at, um, sentiments on there, nice font, nice flower. And this particular one is um, the, the cling stamps. Okay. And you've got a border that you can use. Um, Shelly and Sarah did this one uh, at our, that we saw online. And um, they did some really cool cards with it. Again, really surprised me. And then here are the dies that go with it. I really like these because they're really a nice border. There's two different border ones. Um, there's nice, um, what do I call it, plant-like one. Uh, this does more of a, of, you know, a southwest design on it. And um, that does too. And then you've got a border. So really a good, good stamp set too. And again, we'll get to the paper and that will be something special. The colors, of course, as you would expect, are more on the desert side. Very, very pretty. In here is Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Gray Granite, Pale Papaya, Petal Pink, 
and soft succulent. I am really glad that they have gray granite in there. I happen to like that color a lot, and they don't always coordinate a lot to go with the gray granite. And I, I actually like that color. All right, so I'm going to pull this all out. So you can see, isn't that pretty? Very, very desert looking. And on the back side is the green. That's nice. Then you've got, this is definitely Southwest. And then look at the Cajun craze. I love that color. That's really a pretty one. Oh, Cajun craze in the green. Love it. Then we've got a little Cajun craze mixed in this one. And then the green on the back side. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And we've got the pale papaya. That, that's pretty. And then the green. That's pretty. Those two together are really nice. Very, very nice color combo. Okay, gray granite. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like that. Cajun craze and gray granite. Oh, I really like that. I like Cajun Craze a lot too. I'm a fall girl, so I really like Cajun Craze. This green is super pretty. And then on the back side is, looks like landscape almost. Isn't that cool? So that is the 12 by 12 that goes with that. And then we have some pretty accent paper that also goes along with it. Let's see if we can pop this one back in. And I can. All right. Okay, the one that goes with it, then they've got foil sheets in here. So they're called dry brushed metallic sheets. And you get four sheets, two each of two designs. Um, and they have petal pink in there. Cajun craze, petal pink, and soft succulent. And let's see how they, what they look like. So there is the one with the pink in there. Oh gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness. And there's the green. That is so gorgeous, you guys. So gorgeous. Definitely has to be something that I have to use as an accent on a card. I have classes that have five and six people, so I have to use my paper sparingly, but be able to let them all use some of the new stuff. Okay, so that was the Delicate Desert Suite. Next, I've got a pile of things of individuals. So those are the three suites I got. I have more um, product coming tomorrow. Um, but I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I have. They came out with a new Knight of Navy ribbon, which is so cool. It's a sheer ribbon, very different. And I really like it. I've actually used a lot of it already. I've gotten a couple rolls and used a lot of it already. Super pretty. Then we have something that's going to be really fun. New alphabet dies. And the alphabet dies are really thin. They're tall and thin. So they will be really cool on cards because they'll take up less space so you can get more letters on there. So those I really like. I was very anxious to get those right away. Hi, Lynn. Yes, lots of new toys. I didn't think I'd have that much to show you guys because the rest of my stuff didn't come yet, but I had great plenty. Sometimes I forget what I order. Okay, the next one is called Dainty Delight, and this does coordinate with um, some paper that will be in the celebration, which I do not have yet, but I'm just going to give you a hint. It does coordinate with that. Dainty Delight, so it's more flowers, and I like the long flowers on there because I like to make, there's certain cards that I like that have a, a tall piece, and this is perfect. The sentiment and the fonts are great again. I'm all about that. I really look for different fonts and, and also different sentiments, but the best is yet to come. Celebrate you. Thank you for your kindness. Seven, sending love during the season of growth. I kind of like the best is yet to come and the flowers for a wedding card, personally. Um, and you can do some coloring in here. These are the cling stamps, so you'll be able to easily do some coloring with that and make it your own. 
And then it's got some dies to go with it, of course. And the dies, look at all of the dies that come with it. So long, you can do long green leaves on there. Um, this will fit on this one right here. The best, or the, the flowers on there. All kinds of flower stamps that are cutouts that you can do. This one looks like it goes with that. This one looks like it maybe goes with that. And this one looks like it goes with that. So just so much fun I think this one is going to be. This one looks like it could be the center of some flowers. I'll have to check that out. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the heck all of the, the pieces are. But lots of, op lots of options for this one. I wasn't watching my computer, so I hope to heavens I was did not have it off to the side. I apologize for that. I just have been so into my stuff, I haven't been watching my screen. Okay, so again, I said that um, this one is going to go there. That one will go with this one. This one will go here. And this one will go here. So you'll be able to cut out all of this stuff there. And some extras. Okay? All right. So that is Dainty Delight. And I do have a lot of flowers, but this one is different than other ones that I have. So... That means I just have to get it then so I can show it off because not everybody has all of the flowers so they like to see some of the new stuff. All right, um, this one I we got um, free at, at our event, which was nice. So I know a lot of people like a full, um, full size stamp like this, the background stamps. Um, I don't use them that often, but I think this would be kind of a fun one. I would definitely use it with the Stamparatus so you can get get it stamped decent but just to put a light color in the background would be great not a dark color so you want to put something on top of it put a light color in the background that would be lots of fun so hand drawn dots and then another one that we received was decorative borders and it was actually one that my friend julie roosh and i really liked because we thought it would be really pretty on on cards even on just on the inside of a card when I don't put a lot of sentiment or anything, I might just put something on the corner or straight on the bottom. Um, super pretty and easy to color in too. That one happens to be a polymer, I believe. So very nice. All right, so that's everything I have from the mini at this time until tomorrow when a couple more boxes come. But I have a few things that I can show you that are in the celebration. I don't have all the items, but I do have a few that I can show you before we end. One, it seems like every year now they're doing animals, and this year they did the owls. Aren't they cute? Just adorable. Birthday, I could see this one for graduation with a little bow tie on, and then uh, one that's flying. Hoot hoot, you're so cute. It's your day, my friend. Just adorable, and that's a cling stamp. Um, another one is um, more sentiments, which I love. I love to have these. When I do classes, I do my sample card, but I make sure that I have enough options. If somebody wants a sentiment other than what I did, then I will have options for them, and this is great. Uh, this is a really nice one. It's called Sending Support, and on here you have some days are harder than others. Sending love thoughts, loving thoughts and prayers. Hope today is one of the easier ones. There are so many ways you might feel right now. Alone shouldn't be one of them. Here for you always. Good luck. It's okay not to feel okay. You've got this. My shoulder is yours. Courage is being really scared and doing it anyway. Sometimes, and especially the last few years with COVID, you know, there's just trying times in people's lives. And these are, these are good sentiments that if you want to whip up a quick card and tell somebody how you're feeling, a card is just so special. Um, I had so many people go nuts over the cards this weekend, and they said the same thing, that it's just, it's time to just send a nice card and give it to somebody special instead of a, a text or a even a phone call. Phone call is great, don't get me wrong, that's great, but send them a card and just something they can keep out and remind them. Um, oh, Mary, you're so good. You're killing me over here. I <laughs> love all of it so far. It is really good. It, it really is. Yeah, and we have to do a lot more classes this year, trying to fill up my calendar as much as I can. 
And now I've got, I will be off the whole month of January due to some foot surgery. So I'll have lots of time to sit and play with my foot up, play with all of my new stuff. So it will be fun. And okay, again, another flower one, which I love. This is a celebration one. And we got this one at on stage too. I love the two step of this one. This is beautifully happy. And this will fit, these fit on here. This one fits on there. A cute little bee. Um, for a feeling better kind of day, sending happy thoughts, um, for a very happy birthday, kindness matters, thank you, you are easy to love. This, I think, is awesome. It is just such an all-occasion stamp set and definitely will be one that I use. Even, I haven't done it for a while, but I used to do 3x3 three three card classes. This would be super cute on a 3x3, three three. even if you cut some of this off or just put this on the center of it. Very, very cute. So love, love, love this. Um, so those were, the ones I showed you so far were all um, $50 options, meaning that if you spend $50, you get that one free. I know the owl is, and um, the sentiment one is, and the, let's check out the happiness. This one, guys, is a $100 one. There's more to it, so you have to spend $100 on your order, and then you can choose that one for free. And then last but not least that I have is also a $100 item. So meaning you spend on $100 and you can get this for free. It is huge. It's 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. There is so much in here. The colors in here are balmy blue, calypso coral, um, coastal cabana, fresh freesia, granny apple green, mango metal, melody, and petal pink. And I don't think I'm going to take it all out for you, but I'm going to kind of just go through, flip through some of that, some polka dots, some checks. So it's all great background paper. Isn't that cool? Love the colors, the purple and the orange together. Super cool. So we did that side, and now let's see what we have on the other side. See if I can flip it. Some stripes, flowers plaids. like that design a lot. Very modern. Isn't that fun? Polka dots. Love the color combo. This is a great pack. So you spend $100 and you get the 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. You cannot go wrong with this one. Um, this will be great. I can use this when I have for classes because I have so much paper in there. So that will be really great. So guys, that is all I have for tonight, which ended up being a lot because it was a half hour's worth of show and tell. And I just really hope you liked everything you saw. It seems like Mary does, um, for sure. And I hope you are excited as I am to get new product in your hands and playing with it. And I hope if you're local, you can join one of my classes that I'll start up in January. Um, I'm definitely having a card buffet at the end of January. So I, when I do that in January, then I try and show off as much as I can of the new product. And so every one of the six cards that you'll make that day will all be out of new products. New stamps, new paper, new bling will be all be new stuff. So there's my Sunday night for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great week coming up and take care and happy, happy crafting. Thanks a lot. Bye.